What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Have a Nice Death. It might have been a little while since you've seen my last video on it, but I still really like the game. I've actually crossed over 40 hours in Steam playing it, so I definitely played a lot of the game. Still really enjoy it. There's a lot more for me to see still, too, I gotta say. Um, so I was thinking, why don't we go backwards on the breakdown here now, finally, and try to force a run best I can. I wonder what interesting that breakdown one kind of says something huh we've beaten breakdown 11 and it was challenging and stuff but i'm curious how it's going to feel to go backwards now all right what do we got here now don't expect me to win necessarily either still especially since i'm gonna try to make sure we do something at least a little bit different like definitely avoid the spells but we still need equipment early on here uh, and I'm still going to play the game quickly just because that's kind of how I like to do it. So let's do that. Beat the world one quickly. Second Thanager in under 10 minutes. That's reasonable, but then I have to roll pretty hard after this to make sure we get equipment. Hmm. Beat two Thanagers in under 10 minutes. That's like the same thing, isn't it? Defeat the second Thanager in under 10 minutes and also defeat two Thanagers in under 10 minutes. We have big health, but nah. All right, well, there's a piece of equipment. At the prey, it's okay. Let's see, what do we get? It's a spell. I believe it's makeshift rockets, which is okay. We'll get us five for now. We do have to play kind of quickly here either way. Don't have much of an option. But I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, I've taken to the game as strongly. I mean, obviously it's a very high quality game, but uh, Especially since it's still quite early access, you know, usually these games kind of wither away from me, but rather quickly, but I think the With the update that they had and stuff they actually uh, Did a great job. I think So this way I think uh, Because they made the game a little bit shorter the biomes are now optional there's like optional biomes and you don't do them don't do every single one instead now so it's a little bit shorter because you basically do one biome less now which i'm a fan of ow although they did make the last biome uh oh come on hit by the stupidest things as always they did give the biomes, like, actual... The last biome. Use my words here. Some actual rooms and stuff that you have to go through. Just soul. No prismium. The nice thing is soul is a lot more useful at these lower difficulties now. The game's still kind of... Just as hard in some ways, even at the lower difficulty. Alright. Sorrow's Termination grants you plus 40% mana regen. Forever? Nah. Cloak deals plus five damage. That could actually be very good, I think. We're not doing spells. We've seen it all, probably. So let's go try to go cloak, maybe scythe to some degree, too. We'll see how that goes. We're just gonna hope that we find a a, a cloak, though. Also, sadly. Okay, alright. Oh, I got hit by it all. Alright, I'm gonna use an anima now. <laughs> Playing a little sloppy. I'm trying to kill some enemies here because, uh... You had a golden head. I wonder if that means anything. Ugh. Equipment storage. Okay. Try to kill some enemies here because we do have some time to kill enemies and they do drop stuff we might want. Like animas and things. Da -da 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 -da. I think the main thing is I'd love more options in terms of the equipment you get to use in a singular run. And then and I don't really mean give us more equipment to use. I actually mean provide more opportunities to change equipment or choose your equipment and things like that. That's more so what I mean. Oh. Yeah, Spitfire. So that's another spell. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll find something. Skyfall. It's another spell. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's like too many spells and too few cloaks. I kind of, I kind of feel like it'd be nice if they just. Uh... Ooh, what's that? I already have that. 
It's still level one. Why is it like golden? That's very odd. You wouldn't think they'd even I'll let you get the same thing. Wait, does that mean I can get two of the same cloak too, potentially, and have it in different slots? Because that'd be fascinating. Prismium could be helpful. That would be very fascinating. Hmm. I guess it was just golden because it was in a secret area. I've never seen that. Okay. I will have to use these spells in the meantime, of course. Okay, there we go. What do we got here? It's another spell. <laughs> uh, it's not even I'm trying to wait for something OP or I just want to do something different, you know? The game tells you one thing. But I think this is this is very fixable for for the dev, you know. It's not the biggest problem in the world, but I think it would be it's an, it would be nice a nice change if they were able to allow us to choose. Even if it they could just make it so we get to choose between a spell or a cloak at every single equipment storage. You know, they give you two options. It would be nice, I think. Um I guess we fight the Thanager here, right? I guess so. We kind of want to go to the new area because um, we probably want to upgrade red curses. Better hurry here a little too. I feel like I haven't seen William in a while. Okay, Willie. Kind of missed with all that, huh? Gotcha. All right. So and steady, baby. Spot Skyfall put in work there, that's for sure. Got ourselves another anima. Cloak Swish will launch as an axe. So when I use a cloak. Yeah, it's fine, it seems. I don't know. It doesn't really tell you that much. Petros have an additional dodge. Blobbies can spawn enemies. Uh, the spawning enemies one sounds pretty bad. Take the additional dodge, I guess. I still don't have any cloaks. But right now, both... Uh... Ooh, nice. Lifesteal. Both of our uh, curses we picked up actually literally do nothing at this current moment. It's an investment toward our future, though. Ooh, the time's not great. So, what do I sell here? Do I keep Skyfall for now? Do I sell Skyfall? We definitely sell makeshift rockets. I'll keep Skyfall for now. Uh, we are not gonna need mana. Hey, I got a cloak, yay. And I think that's fine for now. I don't think I wanna buy another anima. We got a common cloak. Hooray. I'm so happy. <laughs> because it could still be really good. I think Shakespeare is actually quite strong, too. It's interesting how even the common stuff can be not bad at all. I think it actually has a pretty good ultimate, too. I might try it out here. I just I, You got to make sure it's like at the right time, though. I don't know if that's the right time or not. Hmm. I'm surprised it... Brad did this to us. Yeah, because like, you get a bunch of pokes. It's pretty good. I guess it's not the, the monkey's pajamas or whatever people say. Okay. It's just kind of... Oh man, that screen shake, huh? Mm, I guess I shouldn't use my my fury here in case we have to fight a Thanager soon. We should have made the timer, I think, here still for Waldo's area. I do reckon. All right. Let's see how we do. I don't know if I'd really want to invest in Shakespeare. 
like all of our stuff. Retaliate, permanently gain, plus one max HP. Did they change something? Because these have been the exact same curses every time. It's kind of strange. My god, I'm getting a lot of penalties early. This one's okay. I think it's okay to take. But when I get hit, I get plus one max HP. Uma's gain 15 damage. Just don't get hit, you know? Easy, right? Shouldn't be a problem. We need more cloak stuff. I might do some sight stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. For now, I might... If I get to a controller room before I get a more decent looking... Uh... Well, I kind of just like getting plus damage, honestly. Let's trade in one anima here. Okay. Let's trade in one more anima here. Couple soul, that's it. Okay, let's stop there. Yeah, we'll go red. 618 is my time. It must be like six and a half minutes you have to get here by. It's a bit more loose than I first thought, but it's still pretty tough. All right, there we go. Please. Okay, I'm slowed from something. Okay, there we go. Gosh, we just deal quite a bit more damage against most enemies because on the higher difficulties, they have extra defense and stuff. Another curse reroll. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll be using this, thank you. Some soul. A little bit more soul here. I don't know. We kind of need to go a little fast until we beat the second manager, but then we're good. After that. I'm noticing we're dealing more damage, but I'm not actually sure why. Did I pick up something I'm not remembering? I didn't think so. Okay the straws. Ooh, okay. Repairier. On guards, Fancy Blade is fond of duels, debates, and most of all, parrying blows. 10% chance of place pierce. So I guess if an enemy hits me or tries to hit me, that's a really long cooldown. I'm a little concerned about it. We'll see what the upgrades look like. I've barely used this cloak, but at least we got two cloaks going. Might be time to upgrade Shakespeare. The relaxation doesn't really do anything besides save time. So I guess I might as well go to equipment storage here. Hmm, actually, we kind of got to hurry. I got only a little over two minutes to kill the second Thanager. Maybe I should have done the relaxation. I'm only missing three health, so it kind of seems silly. You know? But I should probably stop killing enemies if I don't have to. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but it was stupid. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Okay... All right. Okay, looks good. All right, I'm just gonna use this now. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, Dagus. That's a good one, I believe. I think I get rid of Repairier. You'll be blown away by their awesomeness. Wait, is that a mana cost? No, that's a charge. I think we're air is weird. It's good at parrying blows. Huh. So here's Dagos. It deals quite a bit of damage. I think we can invest in that. World Dagger. Now the question is, is that better than Shakespeare? That's kind of questionable. Because it has a pretty long cooldown, as you can see. Longer, at least. I think Shakespeare can get more charges. Hmm. Kind of a tough one. I'm gonna keep Shakespeare. I definitely use both a decent amount. It's not like there's one to experiment with over another one. Control room. I need the Thanager to appear next, otherwise we're losing a bunch of health here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we upgrade Dagus. 
All right. So it lowers the cooldown. Step one. Lowers the cooldown and applies bleed and gives it more damage. Okay. Fine by me. Lowers the cooldown gives it more damage for level three. Lower the cooldown, give it more damage. Sure. You get an extra charge on level two. Alrighty, there's the Thanager. We have to kill it in one minute. We'll see how we do. I don't know what the uh, Fury for Dagus looks like. Let me know if you uh, want more of these videos. It might be soon where we start waiting for the next update, which is probably not going to be for a while because it seems like they like to give really... Uh, Strong, big updates for the game, mostly. But it can be hard to kind of spread it out. Okay. I do not have my ultimate up at all. Okay. Still hits pretty hard, I gotta say. Wow. And fast. That hurt me. We did it! Just with barely any time to spare, probably. All right, there we go. Put critical on stun enemies. Deal 35% bonus damage. Take 50% additional damage. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know about that. It seems a bit crazy. I think twisting the knife is actually quite good, too. Scythe? No. I think. I think, I think. Okay. We don't need to rush anymore. So we stun enemies almost all the time anyway. We definitely don't need equipment, so I guess we'll go this way, huh? That ghost was actually not what I first thought. I thought it was something else, honestly. <laughs> it is actually not what I first thought. So I think there's an even stronger cloak that I thought that's what Dagus was, but... It's okay, it seems pretty strong anyway. You get multiple charges, cooldown's pretty short now. Seems like it'll do pretty well for us. Okay. But two level three cloaks would probably be pretty nice. And then if we have time, we can uh, put some points into the dagger or something. I mean the scythe. Come on. Interesting, the critical damage applies to all types of damage, including the scythe. So if I stun something... Are you kidding? Okay... Wow, the cooldowns come up so much, it's actually kind of hard for me to keep up... ...knowing when, when it's ready and stuff, a little bit. It seems like I'm better off just spamming between the two, to some degree. Okay, slowed myself, of course. Okay. Another curse reroll. Oops, I missed. Oh, there is a secret wall here. I knew I was saving that anima for something. Beautiful. Why is this one golden, I wonder? Too. Oh, maybe again because just because it's a secret wall. Well now I definitely don't want to swap. And I already have something to sell, right? Yeah, I still have Skyfall. Not after I already started upgrading Shakespeare, I'd say. All right, Shopperoo. Let's see. What do we want here? We want to sell Skyfall. There's probably not a lot to buy. Maybe some health. Maybe a Prismium if I can, actually. Sell Skyfall. Plus 35 mana, no. Cure heal for 40. I'm going to try not to. I'm worried we'll get another control room too soon. Shakespeare's only level... I upgraded it once, so I could use at least use the soul to upgrade it a second time if we get a control room very early in the next one. Maybe that was unnecessary and I should have just bought that though. Alright, Waldy. Let's go, baby. I love the I love the theme for this boss, I gotta say. It's gotta be my fave. No. Alright, let's try out the ultimate here and see what it looks like. Okay. Hey. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> it was a little hard to follow. It was a little hard to follow, honestly.
but we did it. That's all that matters. Whew. All right. Infuse life steal. Kamikaze. I mean, we got to do the life steal. It'd be stupid not to, I'd say. Pick that up right now. Thank you very much. Which should give us a uh, quite a bit of safety. I'd say now. We probably don't have to worry too much, but more cloak damage would be very, very helpful. We gotta go we gotta go find that somehow. Don't really want to buy anything here. We just go. We don't get to see these uh, departments very often either, so now we fight the crab, right? And the crab's actually kinda hard. I feel like uh, that's where I tend to take a lot of damage across any of the bosses. I, you'd think it'd be Waldo. Because I'm probably least familiar with Waldo, but... Big Spear not giving me the kills as quickly as I'd like right now. Come on. Dagus doing strong, though. And the cooldown's so short, I can probably just individually hit them kind of thing. Okay. Come on. There we go. Kind of, I'm trying to figure out, so Dagus hits from really far away, interestingly. But you, and I thought it was like teleporting you to a new position, but no, you stay where you were. Plus mana is definitely not helpful. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Did you drop something? Yes, you did. Doink. I should probably use one now, I'm thinking. That's really it? Went by so fast. Missed one little corner. Ah, eh, it's not worth going back. We got this, right? Darn, I really need a Prismium. I need a Prismium and I just need curses. Very, very badly. We might have it just because we have, like, the lifesteal and stuff, though. And we were able to set up Dagus pretty fast. Like that, thank you. Lifesteal will now heal us to full pretty soon. Okay, what was that? Oh, pal. I don't think so. Thank you for that pure heal to make up for your delinquency. Okay. I will not do anything. Can't figure out which way to go. Oh, nice, we got a curse finally here. Gain, retrain, retrain deals plus 25 damage. Deal bonus damage by changing weapons in the middle of a combo. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. What is going on here right now? <laughs> Come on. Well, we have three rolls. Hone is maybe okay? I don't think that's necessary. We only deal bleed with Dagus. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. No. 5% chance of dealing pierce. Pierce deals plus 15 bonus damage. And that's the... That's the final one? It's just not that good. I'd rather take retrain here. So if I hit something with a scythe and then change it to something else, we'll deal more damage, it looks. So one swing of the scythe. And then use a different attack. Although the numbers kind of don't match up to what how it described it, oh, I gotta say. Okay. It's fine, though. Plus 10 max HP. This was HP this time, I suppose. I guess the re-roll here. Man, where's the cloak stuff? Oh, for crying out loud. I guess they must have tried to pump up scythe damage a lot more or something. I'll admit the cloaks aren't that bad. It's scythe, it's, it was at least the scythe that I was more concerned about trying to get bills to work with. But maybe with all this potential scythe damage lying around, we can make it happen someday. I'm sure we will. Keep thinking this axe is from the enemies. Come on, can you please hit something? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, I thought you were far, far away from that. What the heck is that? Wish Storm. We'll be selling that. Okay. 
Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Kind of seems like retrain's only giving us plus 10, 10 damage, not 25, so I don't really understand how that's working out exactly. Go to the vault. Don't really want more soul. Not that bad, at least. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Keep going to the right there, but in this zone, I think you always start off going left. Okay. Whoa, I'm surprised that did not hit me. Ooh, that was generous. Okay. What the heck was that about? I really don't follow the damage numbers. Like, suddenly it feels like I'm dealing a little bit less damage. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost in terms of how it determines some of these numbers. Okay. Alright, looking good. I think this is still kind of a pretty easy build, like anyone could get going here, I'd say. I do think Dagist is pretty strong. It's really all about how you build up early on. It's the early part of the game that's really hard, I think. But once you hit that first control room, your goal is just to get enough resources and pray you got a decent thing to upgrade. Cloak or spell. And you should be on easy street, potentially. All right, I gotta go fight Dengue. Dun, 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 dun. See how we do here. All right, all right, I went left this time, I remember. Okay, watch out. I, lo I love that death actually grabs the edges and stuff too. Ooh, that stung. Okay. So it looks like I potentially cannot get hit during Dagus because I'm like teleporting a little bit toward the end, toward wherever I'm facing. Probably, if I were to guess. Okay. Oh, I just remembered we had plus a bunch of damage from some food we ate. That probably explains the damage number decrease from earlier. I remember things sometimes. All right, Dengue. Uh, should I just use this? I think it's kind of fine, yeah. It's okay. I can actually hit it during this. Looks like it makes me not take damage, too. Get wrecked. All right. Not bad at all. Got a bunch of animas. Please, the scythe damage might... Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. So let's roll this one. Oh, my God. I guess I have to take it. Everything else is kind of pointless. It's just bad luck, I think. I think. Troll room or shop? We can actually upgrade Shakespeare twice if I go to the control room. And the shop's really not that helpful. I have to use all my soul to do this, though. <clears throat> but at this point, uh, we're right before the boss, so we might as well do it. And then we only have the final zone left after that. We get two charges, deals more damage. Cool down zero. But how does that work? And it deals more damage. Okay. Well... It's definitely a cloak run. You can't argue with that, I'd say. Can I just say I love the theming for this game? I don't really talk about that much. Just the whole, like, running a business and, you know... I'll, there's a lot of things that kind of hit home. So that sometimes the translation doesn't really speak very well about it, but... I think for the most part... Okay, I don't know. He turned around on me. I thought I had my super up, but I obviously didn't. Alright, now it's stunned, so we deal a lot of critical damage. This 
keep staying be behind, baby. I guess I'll use this now. Shakespeare might be better than that one, I'm gonna say. Done. Uh. I think it's, it's interesting because Hades actually had a similar one about it, right? Like the underworld was kind of Hades' business. They, or at least that's how they project it. Oh my goodness gracious. I guess I have to take this. Can I please get cloak damage? <laughs> Maybe they don't change anymore. I could have sworn they rolled every time. Maybe that's why it's always the same now. No, I don't... I don't know, actually. Good question. I should probably take a bit better note. All right, let's see if we can get some food. Your heal? Well, I guess I take it. Maybe you'll give me something. I doubt it, though. Literally nothing. What about another one? Are you kidding? Are you a joke to me? Am I a joke to you, even? Well, yeah, having to work for big corporations before myself, it's just, you know, uh, I hadn't seen a lot, especially in games, uh, where they're able to depict the workplace quite as much. Maybe, especially in a humorous and comedic way. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, oh, come on. All right. Oh, apparently that didn't hurt me? That's fascinating. I'll take it though. All right. Nothing. I need curses, and I need them now. Hmm. Maybe that's why spells tend to be a bit more reliable. Because if you go down the green tree, you really only get buffs for spells or buffs across all damage. Try to go down the red tree for cloaks, you might get sight. Same thing and vice versa, right? That stung, I guess. Take that token. Okay. Vault, I guess. It doesn't feel that great right now. Like, we're not killing things as fast as we could have before. But it's at least different, I, I think. If we just got a little bit luckier with uh, the curses, maybe it would be okay. But maybe the curses don't roll anymore. Which would be... Alarming. I don't know. Maybe I just actually had that kind of weird luck. In other words, if you don't take one curse, is it just going to show up the same the next time you go to select a curse? Maybe. That would be a fascinating development, if so. Potentially terrible. Oh, I used my scythe by accident. Kind of meant to do the other. I don't seem to work. Okay, I'll take that. It could mean, so getting particular curses will be less consistent because you never know. You just might not get offered them and you don't get the rolls. It makes rolls way more valuable. And I remember what was... I think that's different, though. But these two kind of seem the same. Yeah, I'm not sure now. Well, these are terrible. I guess I'll do this. I don't love it, though. What do you got? Oh, okay. I'm definitely not taking bosses get enormously more HP. <laughs> like an insanely maximum amount of HP. Ow. Oh, there's a secret here? Sure. Curse? The hammer. Oh, it's level 2 also. I think I can check it out. Oh, it's just a big hammer. That's it. It's very slow. It deals a big a big bop of damage, but those usually are not as good as the fast hitting attacks. Like multi-hit smaller damage attacks often. Uh, what's the odds I'll actually get equipment that's useful? What's the odds that soul will be useful? I don't know, you never know. Maybe we'll get a rare one. A rare cloak that is uh, higher level now. It's nice that they thought to give you higher level things here, I think. Okay.
in the last zone that is because otherwise you know just it'd be silly to ever take equipment storage it's kind of silly to take a lot of different types of rooms in the last zone okay Okay, looking good. I swear those things are saying smile or something. The things that shoot the missiles. How dare you tell me to smile. Okay, let's take care of you. All right, doing okay. I'm just soul. Isn't there supposed to be equipment storage here? Am I crazy? Probably still gonna see it. There it is. What do you got? Barrel Fist, level two, applies deflation. Wait, what does deflation do again? Damage range varies negative 75% to plus 75%. The thing is, it's a long cooldown. I kind of like it. It's a long cooldown. I don't know. It kind of seems stupid, to be honest, to take it. When I have a level 3 Shakespeare a little bit. Eh, it's fun. We'll do it. I think we'll be okay. The cooldown is so long, though. Okay. Look at that slap. That damage range is kind of strange. I guess Vault. I don't know if that has any increased chances of getting a curse or not. Maybe. Please, I need cloak damage, my friends. There, it definitely exists. I've definitely seen more around. There's also like cloak cooldown, which probably would not be as useful. Hey, I gotta remember Arrow Fist has a longer cooldown here. Please die. Slapped. I mean, how can you turn down just slapping enemies also, you know what I mean? <gasps> okay, that's fine. Okay, that's good. You dead? You are. There's more? My god. All right. More animas, okay. Craw, craw. There's definitely some kooky builds where you can get like infinite health and damage, kind of. You gotta leave the game like running probably for a while. Let these birds hit you a ton of times. Because you get retaliate plus damage and plus max health. You might need something else. I'm trying to think what it would be. There's like the periodic you gain an anima, so maybe there's that. Hmm, I'm trying to think what a how you'd get that to work. It might just work as is, because the birds only deal like one damage or two damage, maybe. So it might just work anyway. Okay. Oh, I totally faced the wrong way. Time, please. Thank you. Okay. More enemies here. Oh, come on. Come on. Watch out. Thank you. I gotta tell my own character to watch out. Ooh, that stung. Slap. Oh, baloney. I think it doesn't seem to deal that much, honestly. Plus max health. No curse. I am sad. Well, I get a curse from fighting the mini boss. I guess I do. I could just skip the whole mini boss just to save time, honestly, for the run, but we'll fight it. We'll fight it. I actually feel kind of weak, I gotta say. Her damage just is not that good, right? okay though 
We'll make it work. All right. Maybe I could lose here. It can't be true. We all know the saying that we could not lose. Okay. Ow. I don't know why I started attacking one enemy and proceeded to not finish it at all. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Why do I feel like I've never seen this many enemies before in my life? All right, we done? All right, we done. Just a bunch of soul. Sad. Ooh, nice. Big pure heal. Sounds good. All right, here's the boss. Mini boss. I saw someone tell me that there is a ring too that actually was considered decent, I guess. I had actually no idea about this. Oh, I missed. Ooh, dang, you're fast. Slapped. Okay, you're oh, quick. Get over there. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. Slaps. Oh, you got me. Health is fine, though. Oh, that's fine. All right. Took some hits there, that's for sure. Please help me game. You did not help me game. Actually, Hateful Anima is probably not that bad. I guess I'm crazy, but I swear this has been offered a dozen times now. Sadly. This one's probably not that bad, just because we're about to fight the boss. We're going to kind of semi-span those when the fight starts up. I don't know. It probably doesn't stack, right? It probably doesn't stack. It, no way it stacks. All right, all right. I was thinking, like, maybe we just spam all three at once, but probably not. All right, let's do it, Major. Let's see how we do. Not that impressive of a build, I'll, I'll admit, at the end of the day. Are you kidding? This is how you start on me? Ow, that really hurt. Okay, let's use this. Please stop using this move, my good sir. Where are you? Okay. Slap. Oh, jump, jump. Do something. Anything. All right, use the anima. Feral fists will lock you in a lot. Hey. Get out of here with that little knife. Uh-oh. Okay, this is fine, mostly. I just used the da the scythe one, which seems to actually deal quite a bit more damage, potentially. Oh no. Why aren't I jumping? That was strange. It felt like I was just kind of paddling on the ground or something like that, but we did it! It was close, it was tough! We didn't get the damage, I hoped. I guess we just got unlucky with the curses, kind of, huh? Ooh. But well, we pulled it out. Cloak build successful, at least. <clears throat> I guess I'll show the end of the build, but in the meantime, remember to like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Let me know what you think of the video, of the game, of life, of a cherry apple pie, for all I know. I don't know. Um, really looking forward to more updates for the game. Hoping that uh, we get a bit more variety when it comes to some of this stuff, but yeah. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. What do we get? The time is really slow. Like, horribly slow. Like, insanely slow. We know that much. Hello? I might have, We might have some new weapons I can actually unlock, though, finally. Like, I might have actually killed some things that gives them a discount. Oh, I skipped it. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I skipped it by accident. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.